Hey friends, Justin here. If you're just getting into backpacking or you're looking for a tent, pack, or sleep system that's affordable, functional, and lightweight, then I think today's video is gonna be super helpful for you. I spent a long time looking and testing different pieces of gear to find ones that I could recommend in this video. I didn't wanna just go with super affordable pieces of gear. I wanted gear that was functional enough that even an experienced backpacker like myself would be happy to use on trail. To achieve that goal, this gear had to pass a few different tests. First of all, it had to be functional. Second, it had to be comfortable. Third, it had to be warm enough down to freezing temperatures for the average person. And the fourth thing was that the gear had to be light enough that you could still have a pretty low pack weight when using this gear. And to top it all off, I wanted gear that you could get right now, not stuff that you had to wait for big sales or limited supply releases or custom gear order delivery wait times. So for most of you, you could get this gear today. And if you are interested in picking up any of the gear that we talked about today, go check out the links that I post in the video description. I do get a small commission if you use those links and then buy something, but it really helps me just keep making videos like this for you at no extra cost to you. Like I alluded to, we're gonna be talking about the backpacking big three. And if you don't know what those are, then it's your tent, your backpack, and then your sleep system, which consists of your sleeping pad as well as your insulation, which can be a sleeping bag or a quilt. First up, we're gonna talk about the tent, and I have behind me here the Lanshan 2 tent. The Lanshan 2 comes in a few different versions. If you're looking it up, it comes in the Pro version, which is what I have behind me right here, the original version, and the Plus version. If you're new to backpacking, then I highly recommend getting the original version, which is a little bit different than the Pro version here, but still super functional and a little bit less expensive at only $150 US. If you're interested in a video that I've done on the differences between the original and the pro version, I'll post a link to that right up in the corner there. In some countries, you can get the tent right away with Amazon with super fast shipping. If you live in a country that doesn't have it available on Amazon, then you do need to pick it up on AliExpress and it'll take several weeks for it to arrive for you. So it'll be a little bit longer than if you do have it available on Amazon. It is a trekking pole tent, which means it uses a trekking pole instead of traditional tent poles in order to provide structural support for the entire tent. Some people might say that a trekking pole tent isn't appropriate for a beginner or a new backpacker, but I disagree. I think trekking pole tents are just as easy to set up and use as a traditional tent. It just takes a little bit of practice, just like it would with a traditional tent if you're not used to them. The Lanchan 2 Original is pretty light at only 1100 grams. I think that's a great weight because it's light if you are using it as a two person, person shelter, but it's also light enough that you could take this tent out by yourself on solo trips and it would still be nothing on your back and you'd have a nice roomy shelter to come home to. The shelter is not super roomy, but fairly roomy. The original version is 210 centimeters long and then 110 centimeters wide. So the Pro here is just a little bit wider, but I could easily fit a wide pad and a regular width pad. So a 25 inch pad and a 20 inch pad in here. Whereas the original version, you could probably just get away with two 20 inch pads. But I have used the Lanshan 2 original in addition to the Pro here. And lengthwise, it was fine for me at 5'10", and I think it'd be fine for anyone up to six feet tall. These tents are also bomb proof. I've had the Lanshan tents out in rain, snow, super heavy wind, and they've held up really, really well. Something I get asked all the time is whether you should use a ground sheet with them. And to be honest, unless you're camping on sandpaper, I don't think you need to use a ground sheet with the Lanshan tents. I've never used a ground sheet with the Lanshan Pro or the original and haven't had any problems, still holding up great. Next up, let's talk about sleep systems, starting with the sleeping pad. So I have here the Prior Recharge XL sleeping pad. This thing only costs $85, which is a really good value for what you get because there's a lot of great features with this pad. First up, size-wise, it is 23 inches wide, which is really nice, three inches wider than a traditional 20-inch pad. And that extra space that you get really adds a lot to the comfort of this pad as you toss and turn or sleep on your back and your arms don't fall off the sides. As well, it's four inches thick, which is really good thickness if you sleep on your side. If you ever have problems with your hip or your shoulder touching the ground, then the four inch thickness is really gonna help you with that. And it's 76 inches long, so I'm 5'10", and you can see it's taller than me, so even if you're over six feet, then you're probably gonna be able to fit on this pad no problem. It is a fairly lightweight pad as well, only weighing 26 ounces, and is pretty durable, being made with a 40 denier ripstop nylon material on it. Pariah estimates that the R value for this pad is 4.7. R value is a rating that you can get for pads, which estimates what the warmth is gonna be. And R value is often tested using a standard, the ASTM standard. The Recharge XL here isn't 
tested using that standard. And I think it's a, what the estimate is based on prize guesses is a little bit off. And I think it's probably closer to an R value of three. If you're not sure what R value means as far as equating to what sort of temperatures you can use the product in, an R value of three will take you down to about freezing during the summer months. If you're going a little bit below freezing or run a little bit colder, then you can pick up this foam pad from Decathlon, stick this underneath the pad here and you'll get another half to one R value rating on it and you should be nice and toasty, probably down to about minus six degrees Celsius. The second part of your sleep system is your insulation. And most people will be familiar with sleeping bags. I'm actually gonna be recommending a quilt, a backpacking quilt for your insulation. And some people may say that a quilt just isn't as good for beginners as a sleeping bag, but I disagree. I think quilts are amazing. Even if you are a beginner, people are just more used to sleeping bags, but a quilt is gonna provide a lot of functionality, a lot of flexibility, and there's no sleeping bag that comes close to this quilt as far as function, comfort, weight, and affordability. I have here the Praia Outdoors Thermodown 15 quilt. So another product by Praia Outdoors, their sleep systems are really, really good. And while the Thermodown 15 is advertised to be good down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit, based on my experience, this quilt is warm enough down to just below freezing, which actually means it pairs really nicely with this sleeping pad here. You may have guessed by the name, but the Thermodown quilt is filled with down. So that's the insulation that's inside this quilt. It's 700 power fill down. It's made with a 20 denier ripstop nylon outer shell. And then the inner shell is made with a polyester to feta material. Because this quilt is made with down, it's actually very light for how warm it is. It's only 35 ounces for the entire quilt. But like I said, this quilt requires pad straps in order to keep it attached to the sleeping pad, but it only comes with one. So if you are picking it up, then I recommend either trying to get a second pad strap from Pariah Outdoors or making your own second pad strap. It does, the quilt does have a couple different spots to atta attach pad straps. So if you're able to get another one, then you can use that to attach it to the sleeping pad and then you're gonna avoid drafts and getting cold. If you don't have that second pad strap, then this quilt definitely won't get you below freezing. If you're having to order your Lanchan tent off of AliExpress and have a few weeks to spare, then you could order the Hammock Gear Borough Economy quilt. It's a little bit more expensive than this, but quite a bit lighter and it comes with all the pad straps I need and is a really good quilt and is probably worth the extra 20 or $30 if you have seven to eight weeks to wait for that custom quilt lead time. And then the final item for your big three, the backpack. And I have here a 65 liter pack made by Nature Hike. This thing costs under $100 and weighs 1.98 kilograms. So that's moderately heavy, but still under two kilograms, which I think makes it lightweight. There's several things that make this pack really good in my opinion. First of all, it has all the features of a full featured pack that you might get from REI or another big box store. It has your big front stretchy pocket, traditional, water bottle pockets on the side here, full hip belt with side pockets, compression straps, a brain with a bunch of pockets on it that you can use to store little things, as well as a full hip belt, foam backing, and lift loaders. But the best thing about this pack, I think is its adjustability. So you can adjust the hip belt really easily, as well as you can adjust the torso length of the pack. So most of the time when you're buying a pack, you're gonna buy it as a small, a medium, or a large, or some other size, based on how long your torso is. But if you can get an adjustable pack, then you can take all the guesswork out of having to choose a size. And sometimes the size that manufacturers recommend is completely off. So I find that being able to get an adjustable pack is really good, especially if you're a beginner. And this Nature Hike pack is super adjustable. Based on playing around with it, I think that it could fit anyone with a torso length from 16 inches up to 22 inches, which covers a lot of bases and most of the population. So adjustability helps get the pack fitting right. And the reason why it's important for the pack to fit right is that if your pack fits you properly, then you're gonna have proper distribution of the load inside the pack across your body, to your hips, your shoulders, and over your back. And I found this pack carried weight really, really well. I had 35 pounds in it and it carried that weight no problem. Something that I wish it had that would probably allow it to carry up to 40 pounds was foam in the shoulders and hip belt that was a little bit firmer. It's a bit soft and because of that, it doesn't allow you to carry as heavy of weights. So this whole big three setup behind me here is gonna cost you around $500 US, which is nothing to sneeze at, but pretty good price for something that's affordable, comfortable, warm, and lightweight. 
If you're also looking at picking up an affordable cook kit, I'll post a playlist right up there that has a video about that, as well as a whole bunch of other videos about affordable backpacking gear.